I'm Atuba George and I'm so glad and excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now listen, we are having a 24-hour prayer fast tomorrow, actually starting from tonight at 12 midnight, West African time. We are starting it and throughout tomorrow, which is the 1st of December, we're going to be fasting and praying at every watch. I don't want you to miss it, not just you. Invite your friends, invite your family members to get involved. The Zoom link and passcode is on your screen. I want you to join us beginning from tonight. And, and let's, let's just bring forth God's glory in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Can we call for our daily bread? Now, Father, just declare this with declare these words. You say, Father. I receive right now my daily bread and I receive the bread for the end of the month of November in Jesus name amen praise God listen let today be a miracle day for you hallelujah it's possible if you believe it trust the Lord and an expected miracle and he will surely bring it to pass in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray even now for everyone that desires healing in their body thank you holy spirit i declare in the name of the lord jesus christ from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet listen jesus came to bring you life now, the life he came to bring is it's all-encompassing. He says, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it in abundance, meaning nothing missing, nothing broken. That's why Jesus came. That's why the Lord have laid it in our heart to share this week on who's Jesus. Now, he came to give you life. And if he came to give you life, and he has already come, question is, why are you not living the life? Did he lie about his mission? Or you are the one who have not received his ministry. Understand this. Jesus has a ministry to fulfill. And, and many times we look at Jesus and we don't even understand. Now, I know, you know, because of wrong teaching, sometimes we don't take advantage of the truth because we don't even know the truth. Understand this. The mission of Jesus from the go was never to come and die. That was not his mission. His mission was to come and give life to man. But now... To execute his mission, there was a problem. And what was that problem? The man he came to give life was a slave to the devil, who was the God of this world. And because of that, Jesus couldn't administer life to man who was in, who was in prison, to the devil. So the first thing he had to do to execute that ministry was to deliver man first from the hands of the devil. And that's why he died. Understand this. It was too important for him to give you life that he had to accept to die for you. Dying for you was not the ministry of Jesus. Because we have dwelt so much on the fact that he died for us. And we forget his real ministry. 
His real ministry was never to die for us. Understand what I'm saying? He died for us so that he can, he can fulfill his real ministry. His real ministry from the foundation of the world was to give life to man. And now he has died, meaning he has delivered us from the hands of the devil. We are now qualified and free to receive the ministry of Jesus. And that ministry, mm. you don't need anybody's permission to receive life from Jesus. Now, when I say life, I'm talking about eternal life. He said it in John chapter 17. Look at it again. John chapter 17 and verse 2. He says, as thou hast given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. I told you yesterday. The father has given him authority, Jesus, over all flesh. Not some flesh, not Christian flesh. All flesh. Everybody on the face of the world. And what was his job? His job is to give them eternal life. Now, eternal life is not just longevity of life, you know, live forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. It's a, listen, eternal life is the very life of God. Like you have human life and then you have plant life. See? Now, you have eternal life. Human life is for humans. Plant life is for plants. Eternal life is for God. Now, Jesus came to give we humans eternal life. What does that tell you? It means we can live now the life of God. Understand? Say, is that possible? Oh, God said from the beginning, let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion. He says, let them have dominion over all flesh. That was God's intention from the beginning. So his intention was not to make man lesser than he was. His intention was to make man exactly as he was or as he is. Now that's why John can boldly tell us today, as he is, so are we in this world. Now many people don't understand that. When you read certain scriptures, I wonder what goes through your mind. You, 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 you want to look at some scriptures that are like, nah. I, I've told you this before. I, I remember the first time a dear sister, my, my, my very good friend many years ago, spoke to me about that scripture. I said, you know, she, she, she didn't know where it was in, in the Bible. So she was sharing with me and said, there's a scripture that says, as it is, so are we in this world. And I thought about it, I'm like, nah. Ah, God cannot make that kind of mistake. See, yeah, there's a scripture. I said, no, I don't think so. Ah, no, no way. How can God make that kind of You know what you're talking about? As he is, so are we in this. Ah, come on now. <laughs> he said, no, I've seen a scripture. I said, nah, it can't be. No, forget it. Do you, do you know what that means? Maybe you're misunderstanding. He said, no. And because of our conviction, we began to search the scriptures together. You know, then... We didn't have smartphones like now, you know. Then we, we had to use a strong, exhaustive concordance. And we began to search and then we found it. And I opened that verse of scripture in 1 John chapter 4. And <clears throat> I saw it. I read it over and over and over. Why was I reading it? Trying to check the English. Maybe something is wrong somewhere. And I looked at it, I said, Lord, <laughs> you know, you, sometimes you want to think, Lord, you, you mean you are not afraid to write this kind of a thing? <laughs> you know what you're saying? As he is, so I am, or so are we. Personalizing it now. So I am. In this world, not, not in the world to come. 
He is not promising us anything. He is telling us a statement of fact. Let me show you that scripture. Maybe it will help somebody. First John. Chapter 4. Now he says, verse 17. He says, Hearing, 1 John chapter 4 and verse 17. Hearing is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Hey, understand? Understand it. He said, This is how. He made our love perfect. He made it. So that we will have boldness on the day of judgment. So how? How is it? How did he make our love perfect? So this is it. Because you see, colon, after that word, judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Ha, 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 so, he is putting us in his class. So that we will have, when, when, when judgment day comes, we, it's, 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 it's not going, hey, judgment day is coming, no. judgment day is coming. No. no, he's brought us into his class. And, and we think of judgment and we think of we being on the same side with him. Judging the world. Why? Because we have received his life. Now, his life, it's the same life that brings healing. It's the same life that keeps you in health. It's the same life. Think about what God can do. And let me shock you now. Whatever God can do, do you know you have the ability to do it? Who made that possible? Jesus made that possible. He made that possible. So that's why I want to pray for you right now. And I want you to receive healing to everything that is not right in your body. Right now. Are you ready? Stretch your hands this way now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because the Lord's showing me, He's, he's healing someone with, with back pain. You, you have this back pain towards your right side or behind there. You know, just like I'm touching right now. There's a pain behind there. If you, if you try to bend your body, you will be feeling that pain. I command... Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah. The pain is gone right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You can actually stretch yourself and, and check. It's gone from you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare in the name of the Lord Jesus. Whatever ailment is in your body. Receive healing. Receive healing right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The presence of God is is falling on you right now ahali kabusha brother the presence of god is coming on you right now and and purposely for for this <laughs> he is bringing healing in your body be healed be healed right now be healed right now i command that ankle bone to be healed thank you holy spirit stretch those legs now that pain in your ankle, it's healed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's healed in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command the chest pain, go now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The pain in your chest is gone. Begin to breathe normally right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You are not taking any ailment into the month of December. No, you are not taking any sickness into the month of December. So I command healing in your body right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. There's someone you're having skin 
some kind of skin irritation and you've been battling this for a while right now you you don't know what to do anymore i command that your skin to be cleansed right now in the name of the lord jesus be cleansed in jesus name in two days you will realize it's all dried up and your skin will become normal hear me without a spot in the name of the lord jesus so much so that when you are telling people you have that kind of issue they they, they will be looking at you like why are you telling us a lie that's how clean the lord will perfect the healing on your skin in the name of the lord jesus pile someone struggling with pile you are healed right now in the name of the lord jesus christ the lord is healing someone with uh, digestive issues you know some digestive you've been having issues with your di digestion be healed in the name of the lord jesus christ even right now go take a glass of water and and you will see that it, it's flowing properly in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i command everything that is not right in your body be restored to perfect health in jesus mighty name amen praise god thank you holy spirit be healed get up and begin to do what you couldn't do before because god has intervened he has brought you healing right now in jesus name praise god now send us your testimony we would like to hear from you and subscribe to our youtube channel in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then also I invite you once again to the prayer meeting, to the fast night prayer meeting, starting tonight at 12 midnight. Information is on your screen. Or if you need more details, you can send us a message and we will get back to you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.